Oliver Cartran Weldy from BSMT S1 Delta. And I will discuss the cargo discharge plan, drop survey, and cargo calculation for bulk carriers. The object of bulk carriers cargo discharge plan is to just discharge safely to reduce likelihood of ship structures, overstress during cargo work, and to remain within the limitations are specified by classification society. And the ultimate goal is to deliver cargo in the same condition it was loaded. The, the discharge plan is to show the distribution of cargo within the ship and is sent to steam doors before arrival in port so, they, so that they can arrange the required labor and equipment. The main consideration when discharging is to avoid stress due to in a, inappropriate distribution of, distribution of weights. This is easier in the discharging phase as the cargo operations can be monitored more closely. However, the degree of vigilance during I, required by the watchkeeping officers remains the same. When hatches are being opened, the OOW should always be present. At the discharge port, attention should be paid to the UKC as many ships will wait for high tide before berthing alongside. Okay. Antonio Miguel C. Cubales, BSMT Senior 1 Delta. And I will present the different cargo gears for a specific type of cargo. First is cargo in bag. This is the example of cargo in bags. And Bag cargo is stored on double dunnage and kept clear of the ship sides and bulkheads. Bags are kept away from pillars and stanchions by covering it with matting or waterproof papers. The second type is the cargo, container cargo. This is the example of container in cargo. Container ships are cargo ships that carry all their loads in truck size in intermodal container. In a technique called containerization, they are common means of commercial intermodal freight transport and now carrying most seagoing non bulk cargo. The last one is the bulk cargo, such as coal. This is the example of bulk cargo, such as coal. The description it refers to material in either liquid or granul granular particulate form as a mass of relatively small solids such as petroleum, crude oil, grain, coal, or gravel. This cargo is usually dropped as, or poured with a spout or shovel buckets into a bulk care ship holds railroad car, rail, railway wagon, or tanker truck, trailer, or semi-trailer body. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh. Carrier's cargo discharge plan is to discharge cargo safely to reduce likelihood of ship's structure of overstress during cargo work and to remain within the limitation as specified by the classification society. And ultimate goal is to deliver cargo in the same condition it was loaded. All right, next step. Thank you. System is one of many types of conveyor system. A belt conveyor system consists two or more pulleys with a closed loop carrying medium, the conveyor belt that rotates about them. Ito po yung picture. Images. Ito po. And pong example. Okay. Uh, thank you. Yes, sir. Well, and I I discuss how to prepare a container ship for loading cargo. Uh, when container ship is about to approach a port cargo loading, proper preparation should be made so that cargo loading procedure can be carried out in quick and safe manner. Container ship have special cell guides and lashing equipment in under deck compartment which help in giving secure storage for sea transport. Efficient 
flushing and stowing of cargo container on deck is extremely important to prevent any kind of imbalance and loss of equilibrium, equilibrium of the ship. Proper planning for cargo loading is therefore required and deck officers must be know how to plan cargo container storage. That's all, sir. Okay, nagapo. Yes, go ahead. Ito po. Ah, black white screen only. Bulk carrier cargo discharge plan is that is to discharge cargo safely to reduce likelihood of ship structure over stress during cargo work and to remain within the limitation as specified by the classification society and the ultimate goal is to deliver cargo in the same condition it was loaded no answer loading bulk carriers discharging preparations self unloading vessels can reduce our cargo's overall deliver delivered cost per ton per ton because they are fast efficient and less capital and labor intensive than onshore based systems the rapid turnaround time associated with self unloaders frees up congested berths, thus reducing port costs and demurrage. Operating 24 hours a day at speeds up up to 5,000 tons per hour, self unloaders discharge faster than conventional dry bulk carriers and do not require the expensive of stevedores or cleanup crews. That's all. Thank you.